Hey, you're back at the garage with Easy Jeezy. Hope your day is going well. I was uh, out camping this weekend. I double balled, which means I used a tow bar on the Baja attached to the back of the trailer for a week-long little uh, fishing adventure. And I came back to camp, and then the next day... I wanted to take the Baja out. We'd had three or four days of good exploring. The pedal, the gas pedal, went right to the floor. And what happened is the little end piece snapped off. Well, I did not have a <laughs> spare with me, oddly enough. And when I came home, I could not find a spare as well. What did I do with that? A friend of mine stopped by and I was just showing this all to him and I thought hey I ought to make a video out of this stuff. But <clears throat> at any rate I've got the new cable in. He helped me pull the uh, get the cable in and get it out the back of the engine compartment and I went ahead and pulled the pedal assembly off because my pedal pressure or my clutch contact point, whatever you want to call it, has been, seems to me like it was changing where I would need to, to turn the wing nut on the clutch adjustment back by the bell housing. So, <clears throat> as long as I was in here, I figured I'd take the pedal assembly out of the tunnel take a look at it and put in a new throttle cable and if you look at that it's pretty pretty small uh, the clutch cable has worn me in a little bit and I do not have one of those high pressure Kennedy clutches I just have a stock one but it probably has a gazillion miles I've never changed it since I've owned it and you probably won't uh, run into this very often but if you buy a used car that's older or one that's been sitting around forever and ever um, you'll you'll probably you'll probably uh, get into this and uh, you'll never want to do it again this is the piece that goes into this piece that pushes on the brakes it goes into the brake master cylinder I went ahead and scraped and vacuumed all the junk out of here <clears throat> this is not just a wonderful job but I happen to have some uh, high temp barbecue black and flat and I thought I'll just I'll just get it on there just go ahead and do this um, I had another hook for the clutch and I got the pin out, but I cannot get the arm off. I was going to get this all apart. It's very free moving. I think, oh, there's that little piece that broke off right there. Yep, that broke off. That can spoil your day. Um, it did mine, and luckily it was right in camp. Good Lord was uh, watching over me again. <laughs> I'm telling you, he... He takes care of me, yeah, that's for sure. Um, and everything else seems to be in pretty good shape. Uh, things you'll run into is your gas pedal is all worn out. Uh, the little plastic nylon roller that goes on to the roller and goes back and forth. Um, you know, a lot of times these things break and wear out and a lot of dirt will pile up in there so you don't get full throttle so these are all some things a little bit of lubrication and you're not just going to be able to really squirt oil while it's in the car down the sides I mean if that really does free it up this thing should come out and it should get a good cleaning and lube and put back together uh, springs can break there's any number of things and rebuild kits and so on and so forth but when you have problems on the trail 
uh, it's really a pain and I don't really have another one and uh, you know let's just be honest with you <laughs> I'm not a perfectionist but I like to know the condition of my cars and that they're gonna get me there and back and uh, in a situation like this I'm definitely gonna carry from now on an extra throttle cable probably in my tool bag and I looked through all of my stuff I had clutch cables out the kazoo but I didn't really have any uh, throttle cables I went to my local um, O'Reilly Auto Parts those guys are great this is a hub store which means they kind of furnish things to other stores as well as make uh, deliveries and so forth it was thirteen dollars this one looks like it says down here Columbia made in Columbia this is the same box this the same looking sticker and it says made in USA so it really doesn't make any difference but now I'm gonna have a spare one and I will carry that in my tool bag if I'm out there on the trail and I find somebody that is uh, had a problem might be nice to help them out you know what the heck 13 bucks but those are one of the things that get you when you need one item you know you look at your car and you say I need this one item so you go to an online supplier and you say okay I want this one item and it's thirteen dollars okay well they always coax you uh, and you know they won't put it in an envelope they could easily put it in an envelope and mail something like this even if it's one of those manila envelopes but no they want to put it in a box and they're going to charge you whatever it is fifteen dollars or whatever for the minimum on the freight so you check with all your buddies and you say look I I need this throttle cable were you making an order anytime soon uh, or maybe I'll make an order and add what you need to it that way we can save on the freight you know kind of good idea to network with your Volkswagen buddies and if not you just uh, kind of look like wow well, you know it's thirteen dollars but it's gonna end up costing me twenty five dollars but ah, uh, I was kinda thinking about this and that and the other thing and uh, you start going through your mental list of things you've been procrastinate oh maybe I'll get some window cranks uh, maybe I'll get some dealy bob for the whatchamacallit and that's where they get you and that's how after 30 years 35 years you end up with a garage full of stuff you're probably never going to use you know your intentions were good and ain't nobody going to give you the full price although with inflation you could charge half of what you pay and uh today and still make money on what you've had sitting in a box for so long so i thought i'd just throw up a quick video about this now if your pedal assembly was in there your clutch runs through the inside of the tunnel on a tube you wouldn't have to take that completely off although it may be difficult to get this to bend around and maybe that's why it broke somebody replaced this at some time and kind of like bent it really hard and then straightened it out so they didn't have to mess with the pedal assembly boy that looks weird all flat black like that here's my little heat diverter that goes in the channel that is missing <laughs> so <laughs> that's been laying underneath there if anybody's got one of those wants to send it I'd love to have it uh, have full control of your heat instead of burning your ankle if I want defroster I put my foot up against the heater channel <laughs> and divert the air to the front otherwise I let it come out <laughs> and I'm getting off topic like I often do um, it's not a fun job for sure two guys would always be nice taking the seat out would always be helpful you know I've got a jacked up because I have to get underneath there and I've got a jack stand farther back be safe when you're working on this stuff and 
you know, <laughs> get your projects done. I think in this case, I'm going to take my wire feed welder and I'm going to build this up, this hook, and then I'm going to file it down and use a burr and try to get that thing back in there and I know what my setup is okay so not something you want to do trail side I'll tell you that those are 17 millimeter heads you'll need a 17 millimeter socket or box end wrench 12 point would be nice and then uh, my just so you know yeah, this baby was welded in there. I had to use some blaster and I left it sit overnight to uh, get that loose. And this is the rod that goes into your brake master cylinder and helps you. Once you get this off, it helps you get that thing moved out of the way. You might not have to do that. Everybody's going to have their own procedures and figure out something and uh, if you do it one time you're going to be very knowledgeable <laughs> for as long as your memory lasts i remember helping my son with this on valerie my 66 and uh we did a little weld up on that one and it's lasted all these years so i feel okay with that and i'm gonna get back after it and I hope you guys have a good day, whatever you're doing. Oh yeah, you know I just mentioned at the beginning that I went on a on a week long uh, little camping trip outing. Look at these neat things. These were in camp. This is not out of the forest, but I thought it was a very interesting wood grain, and I'm going to. Uh, I don't know. I haven't decided whether I'm going to put some tongue oil on this or uh, just lightly. I don't even know if I want to sand it. It's got that natural gray finish. These were dead trees laying in the campground. Uh, and I happen to have a handsaw with me. So let's see what I can uh, come up with. Kind of looks like a wing on that angle. But yeah. I love to collect little stuff like that and I'll put them out in the yard and enjoy them for a while. Sometimes I'll, I'll bring all that stuff in the house in the wintertime. It's just the way I enjoy life and I hope you're enjoying life. And we all have troubles and difficulties. So try to keep your chin up, keep a smile on your face, fake it till you make it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. Easy jeezy, out. I suppose you'll want to see how this all ends up, but my computer crashed and I couldn't get Windows 10 to work. And I took it to a shop where I live and they uh, put Windows 11 in it. And it's got totally different editing software that comes with it. Uh, the free stuff isn't very qual good quality. I don't know how to use it. And I know you guys want more videos to watch. Um, some people will <laughs> give me a bad time because uh, I didn't show the full job start to finish. I will attempt to add on an ending at the end of this ah, if I can figure out that software but I uh, I have so many things I have to do my bucket list is just as full as ever so don't be disappointed if this is all you get thanks for watching thanks for subbing easy jeezy out again I'd see, I'd edit all this stuff out on my old software. <laughs>